Sunrise is my favourite time of day. I think it's because of the quiet and the, and the peace. It's like everything is fresh and new. An untainted day is like, I don't know, like a blank canvas of opportunity. <laughs> um, yeah, but sunrise was particularly beautiful from this 10th floor flat. I lived here for two years and I was so, so incredibly happy here. I will never forget, or at least I hope I'll never forget, the, the mornings I spent just sitting and watching the waters twinkle as the birds muck about in the sky. I must have wasted hours. Beautiful, sun-kissed hours just watching the coastline. Thinking about anything from my Oscar acceptance speech <laughs> to where I would want to travel next. I've moved out now, but um, I would love to share this space with you guys, especially seeing as I did promise that I would. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> this is made up of footage that I filmed over the two years. Um, so if there's little bits and bobs that changed, that was just me redecorating. But, um, yeah, this is a tour of my two-bed flat in Cardiff Bay, South Wales. I have since moved from this place into a million pound house somehow that I'm also very comfortable in and very grateful to God for. So if you want to see a tour of that, then let me know in the comments and make sure that you subscribe so that whenever it comes out, whether a month from now or two years from now, <laughs> you'll be able to see it. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the tour. I guess it makes sense to start with the entryway. Upon walking into the flat, you're met by this open space with a mirror to your right and a shoe rack and coat hanger to your left. It's pretty spacey. I liked it. <laughs> the fake plant that I had was a buy from TK Maxx. It's pretty real looking, but I honestly nearly binned it so many times because, um, I don't know, for some reason fake plants really irk me. <laughs> but there wasn't a lot of light in this room, so I didn't have the heart to put a real plant there. I put different bits and bobs around the place as well to just make it cute and welcoming and feel more like a home. I'm big on candles, <laughs> as you will see. I think they add such like a cosy vibe and a welcoming smell, especially when you first walk into a place. Centre stage, I hung this artistic piece from the talented artist called Lois Seco. It's so beautiful and just really tied the room together. I think it's the way that the colours blend and the detail, I just, oh, I love it. And there's something about buying direct from the original artist, knowing that you are supporting their talent and passion. I don't know, it just adds a sense of love to an artistic piece. So yeah, I'll put the link to her website in the description of this video. I personally think that Willow counts as a decorative piece as well. This is my bike. Everything for this bike was purchased online. Um, so from the additional flowers to the pannier bag, she is an absolute head turner. I'll put the links to the bike and the decor pieces in the description of this video. In fact, just, just check the description for most things. <laughs> then when you turn left from the entrance, you see the main bathroom. So you've got a bath, sink and toilet, pretty standard really. I didn't do a lot with this, I just kept it neutral um, with lots of candles. Then, walking straight ahead, you've got the spare bedroom. I didn't do much to decorate this place, I just used items from previous places that I'd lived. Um, but it was more of a storage room slash spare room for the first year until I sublet it in my second year in the flat. It featured a large double bed, a bookshelf and a huge wardrobe. A 
lot of the cushions shown here are from various places like TK Maxx, Dunelm and Home Bargains, but that was years ago now. And then we come through to the main living space. So the flat features an open plan living space. So it's got the sitting room area, the dining room and the kitchen. And oh my goodness, this is absolutely what sold the place to me. It is really spacious, especially for that area of Cardiff. And the balcony as well is huge. I took my time doing this place up. I definitely changed it and moved things around a lot as you can see by these clips, but I really enjoyed it. I would just, yeah, I made the most of it. I guess we can start with the living room area. So the living room had this huge, ridiculously comfortable sofa. I'm big on comfy sofas, so yeah, that was the first thing I did when I was viewing the place, was sit on the sofa. I added a large cream rug, I put some frames on the wall, and the artwork actually that's on the wall, um, I painted myself, I'll talk about that later. But as you know, I love plants, I love music, and so I really just filled the living room with things that would make it feel cosy and inviting and just, yeah, really warm. Again, with the candles. I made the art on the wall myself because I knew exactly what I wanted. I wanted resin art, but it's really super expensive, so <laughs> I spent like a day or two making these three pieces in order to hang them up, and it was really difficult, but I was so pleased in the end because they came out exactly how I wanted with the specific colours, the mixture. Oh my goodness, I love them. And then we move on to the dining room area. So the flat came with this amazing dining table and I just loved it so much that I kept it always set. So the table was always made, I actually rarely ever ate on there. Um, the napkins would be folded, there'd always be a full set for all the dinner parties that I really threw. Um, but when you did sit at the table, you'd be met with this stunning sea view and I had many a Saturday brunch just sat out watching the waters, which was amazing. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of plants and fresh flowers, so I'd always have some of those on the table too. Then we come out onto the balcony. Oh my goodness, the balcony was incredible. Super spacious, really spacious, and high up on the 10th floor, you had the most incredible view of the barrage, the sea, and you could even see England if you looked, you know, if the day was clear enough. Um, you had all these boats, I remember there would always be like people canoeing or I don't even know what it's called, paddle boarding at like 5am I'd be like wow that's mad, I'm really glad I'm not out there right now but I like to sit and watch them, um, it was super beautiful, um, you could people watch, uh, I don't know why I never got used to looking over the edge, every time I'd look over the edge I'd be like <gasps> and look back up but yeah, it was pretty cool. Absolutely loved the balcony. I filled it with furniture that again, I got from Home Bargains because it was just so cheap. So I got this egg chair that was so, so comfortable and this set of chairs and table that I used whenever I had people around. And then coming back inside to the kitchen area. I loved this kitchen. I love the fact that you had the feel of a little island just because of that part that stuck out towards the dining room and um, I would have my little coffee corner, my herb garden slash shelf, <laughs> all my jars and cookbooks. Yeah, it was, it was really great. It made cooking fun. 
on the wall here next to Bonnie, my most beloved bonsai plant, <laughs> one of the best decisions I made was hanging this mirror from Ikea. £40 from Ikea, but it just reflected the balcony and the sea view and the water to really make the space look even bigger and even brighter. The kitchen though did also feature a little window where you could watch the boats and the traffic go by. Again with the fresh flowers, because I love them. My coffee corner, oh, fave corner of the house. I, I fully went for it with this, you guys. I would <laughs> make the nicest lattes with my Saturday brunch. The herb garden had thyme, mint, basil, whatever I could keep alive the longest. And I love this coffee machine. The DeLonghi set, the vintage set, just looked so, so good. Many a happy breakfasts were made here. <laughs> Living area was super cozy. Oh, I spent many nights in lockdown just cuddled up watching way, way too much Netflix. If you're wondering about the massive bear, his name's Wilbur. I picked him up for 30 quid from Home Bargains and honestly, highly recommend. Yeah, I love this living area. It was really cozy. The main bedroom was, again, incredible, super spacey with a shower en suite and a walk-in wardrobe. I loved the huge desk, I loved that I had a little area to get ready. I also invested in a small couch where I could sit and read my Bible and pray. Say a small couch, a small seat. Um, a little velvet seat. So yeah, I really liked my room. I Honestly, I didn't really spend as much time in there just because the rest of the flat was so good. But um, it was really great. As with the other rooms in the house, I moved things around a lot, trying loads of different decor ideas, different lighting. I never really settled on one final look, but I would say the look with the falling lights, so the falling fairy lights, was probably my favourite. And then that takes us onto the ensuite. I mean, it was a pretty standard ensuite, to be honest. The shower room, um, again, like with the other place, I just kept it super neutral and just bought the bare minimum that was needed. The walk-in wardrobe was a huge plus for me and definitely another draw to live in this flat. I hung up the mirror so that I'd be able to check out my outfits as I got ready. There was plenty of storage for what I had and so yeah, it was great. There was so much space. There was also again a beautiful view from the bedroom window and I used to love waking up and just catching the sunrise. 
Ah, what a vibe. A piece that I really liked was this little shelf from Ikea that enabled me to add another dimension of height and even more plants to my room. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there for the flat tour. Um, I really enjoyed living in this place. I felt so grateful to God. It was really such a blessing, especially after the place I'd lived in before had been pretty sad looking and, and I, I really hadn't enjoyed. Um, I always wanted to paint the walls, by the way, you guys, but I just thought it's rented, so I'm not gonna bother painting. <laughs> so I left them as the terracotta. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and maybe even got a few, I don't know, a little bit of inspiration that you feel a bit inspired to make the most of wherever you're living as well and um, thanks for watching i've since moved by the way somehow into a million pound house <laughs> so while i miss this place i'm very much happier in my new place so if you want to see a tour of that then let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to catch it <laughs> love you so much i will see you soon bye